A small plane lies wedged into the back of a Nissan sedan along Interstate 15 near Highway 76. Inside that sedan, the body of 38-year-old Antoinette Francis Isbell, who is pronounced dead at the scene after the plane loses power and comes down on the freeway, skidding about 250 feet in the slow lane before hitting the Nissan. The vehicle is parked on the shoulder of the freeway when the plane comes crashing down after losing power. The Nissan was stopped on the right shoulder. Um, according to statements that we received from the driver of that Nissan, that he had pulled over to the right shoulder to sync his Bluetooth on his phone, and the plane uh, collided with the rear of the Nissan that was stopped on the right shoulder, subsequently killing the right rear passenger. The pilot, identified as 62-year-old Dennis Hoge of Hamul, suffers life-threatening injuries, the result of severe head trauma. His passenger, identified as a 50-year-old woman, suffers a neck laceration. The three occupants in the Nissan who survived the crash are all taken to local hospitals. By late Saturday afternoon, federal investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are on scene. So far, we're just documenting the initial impact point of the airplane on the road, looking at ground scars, paint transfer marks. We do have some propeller strike marks. We're measuring those distances. Uh, we've identified the first point where it hit the car. And now we're in the process of trying to extricate the car from the airplane wreckage. A task easier said than done, as the plane is so deeply embedded into the Nissan, the jaws of life have to be used to separate the plane from the vehicle. By 6.30, the wreckage of the plane is removed from the accident scene and moved here to a location further up I-15, a plane described as a land care for a home-built aircraft. But this is a tragedy that sees both the loss of life and the emotional traumatization of lives. Imagine the pain felt by Isbell's three friends when they realize while their own injuries are not severe, she is killed in such a freakish accident. And then there is the pain felt by the pilot. As he fights for his life, he must also fight with the painful reality. He was not able to avoid hitting the car during such an incredibly stressful ordeal. An ordeal authorities said could have been much worse on a weekday when so many more cars are on the freeway. John Soderman, KUSI News.